The Kite Runner is the first novel by Afghan American author Khalid Hosseini, published in 2003. It tells the story of Amir, a young boy from the Wazir Akbar Khan district of Kabul. The story is set against a backdrop of tumultuous events, from the fall of Afghanistan's monarchy through the Soviet invasion, the exodus of refugees to Pakistan and the United States, and the rise of the Taliban regime. Amir recollects what happened 26 years ago, when he was a young boy, living in Afghanistan, saying it made him who he is now. He lived in a nice home in Kabul, with his father Baba. They had two servants, Ali, and his son, Hassan, both Hazaras. Rahim Khan, a friend of Baba, often visits the house. When the king of Afghanistan is overthrown, things begin to change. One day, Amir and Hassan, are just having fun when they run into three boys, Asif, Wali and Kamal. Asif tells Amir that he'll beat him up for hanging around with a Hazara, but Hassan is able to stop Asif with his slingshot. In winter, there is a kite fighting tournament. Boys put glass on their kite strings and battle to see who can cut the rope of the competition. When his kite is lost this way, the boys chase to get it back, which is called kite running. When Amir wins the tournament, Hassan goes to fetch the kite that lost. When Amir tries to find him, he sees Hassan trapped at the end of an alley, being molested by Asif, as Wali and Kamal hold him. Amir runs away, and when Hassan comes back with the kite, he continues to act like he doesn't know what happened. It marks the start of the two friends drifting apart. Amir feels guilty, and decides that either he or Hassan has to leave. He hides money and a watch under the pillow of Hassan and tells Baba that he stole it. When Baba confronts him, he admits to it, although he's innocent, and not long after this, Ali and Hassan move away. In March of 1981, Baba and Amir are in the back of a truck, escaping Kabul, which is invaded by the Soviets, making it a war zone. After a grueling trip, they get to Pakistan and two years later they live in Fremont, California. Baba works at a gas station, and Amir has just finished high school and is heading to college. When at a flea market, which they do on Sundays, they run into General Tahiri. Amir sees the general's daughter, Saraya, and when he speaks to her, the general reminds him that there are proper ways to do things. When Baba is diagnosed with lung cancer, Amir asks him to get the consent of the general for Amir to marry Saraya. General Tahari agrees and they plan the wedding quickly, because of the declining health of Baba, who eventually dies a month after the wedding. Amir and Saraya try to have children, but don't succeed, as Amir works on becoming a writer. Amir gets a call one day of Rahim Khan, who's ill, and wants Amir to come see him in Pakistan. The two meet a week later, as Rahim tells him about the destruction of Kabul. He shares that things got worse when the Soviets were driven out, as the Taliban now rules in violence. He wants to ask a favor, but first shares what happened to Hassan. When Amir left with his father, Rahim got lonely and tried to find Hassan. He persuaded Hassan and his wife, Faranza, to come back to Kabul with him. The couple had a baby boy, called Sorab. A few years later, Rahim went to Pakistan for medical treatment, and got a call from a neighbor in Kabul, who told him that the Taliban went into Baba's house and shot Hassan and Faranza sending the young boy to an orphanage. Rahim wants Amir to go to Kabul and bring the boy back to Pakistan, where Rahim knows a couple that will care for him. When Amir travels to Afghanistan, he finds the orphanage, but the boy isn't there. The director says a Taliban official took the boy about a month ago, and if he should want to speak to this official, he could go to the soccer stadium the next day. He goes to the game the day later and, during half-time, the Taliban put a man and woman in holes in the ground and they're stoned to death by the official. 
by means of one of the guards, he sets up a meeting with this man. When they meet, Amir tells him he's looking for a boy, and he asks the guards to bring him in. Sorab is wearing a blue silk outfit and mascara, being made feminine, which suggests he's being taken advantage of. When the official says something to Amir, he realizes that this man is Asif. Asif beats him with brass knuckles, breaking his rib and tearing his lip. Sorab threatens Asif with a slingshot, and when Asif attacks, he shoots towards Asif's eye, and Amir and Sorab escape. When Amir is in the hospital he finds out the couple that would take care of Sorab never existed and he proposes to bring Sorab to the US with him, to which Sorab agrees. The adopting officials say that Amir can't adopt him, since the fact that Sorab's parents are dead can't be proven and Amir has to tell Sorab, he might have to go back to the orphanage. Soraya and Amir find a way to bring him to the US finally, but before Sorab can be told he tries to take his life. He's still alive, but no longer speaks at all. One day, they go to the park with other Afghans, where people are flying kites and Amir buys one for Sorab to fly. They see another kite and fight it. Using one of the tricks Hassan always used, they win. Sorab smiles, and as the losing kite flies away, Amir runs after it for Sorab. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe.